In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a subdomain in Hostinger and then install WordPress to that subdomain. So this is fairly easy, but follow along and I'll show you in a step-by-step -step format. So what you need to do is go to Hostinger and then log into your account and it will take you to this dashboard here. Now from here, you want to head over to your websites. So you might see websites up here. For me, I need to click on the three lines and then click on websites. Then you'll see all of the websites and current domain names you've got on Hostinger. I'm going to be using this one here, searchedbasedmethod.com, as an example. So this is hosted through Hostinger, and it is a WordPress website. So what you need to do now is go ahead and click on Manage, and then once you're on Manage, you can create your subdomain. So scroll down, click on Domains, then click on Subdomains. So now you need to create a subdomain. Obviously, you have your own use case in mind. So I'm just going to call it Subdomain for my example, but you can enter in whatever you want here. So the subdomain for this video is going to be subdomain.searchbasedmethod.com. You can also create a custom folder for this subdomain. This is just handy if you're going through the files and you edit your website manually. If you just title this kind of like subdomain underscore whatever you've called it, you're going to know then that this folder is your subdomain and it just makes this folder different to your main website's folder. So if you're editing in this folder, you know it's your subdomain. If you're editing in the main folder, you know it's obviously your main website. You don't really need to do this if you're not going to get too technical with your website, but it is just good practice to label your directories. So once we've done that, we can then create, and we now should have created this subdomain. So you can scroll down here. We've now got subdomain.searchedbasedmethod.com. And again, you can enter anything in this field here. I've just used subdomain as an example. So now we need to install WordPress to this subdomain. And to do that, we want to go to website, auto installer. And you can see I've already got WordPress installed onto my main website. But now we need to go ahead and click on WordPress again. Once we've clicked on WordPress, we can now give our website a title. So again, you can write anything here. So I'm just going to write subdomain example, but you can write anything here. Then enter in your email, your username and a password, which I will do right now. And it's very important to go to advanced and make sure you do this right because we are installing it to our subdomain. So click this drop down menu and select your subdomain and you need to do that. Otherwise, you're going to mess up your whole website. So by default, it's going to be on your default domain. You want to make sure you click on subdomain and then you're installing WordPress to your subdomain. Then you can go ahead and click next and obviously install WordPress with these settings, click install, and it's then going to install WordPress to your subdomain. So I hope you're all following along so far. Okay, so now we can flick through our domains. So here is our main domain, search based method, and here is our subdomain, and you can see that WordPress is going to be installed, right? So you can see here is the WordPress version. Now, it looks like I'm using a domain here that I've used for a different tutorial video. So it's not letting me access the admin panel because I've used this domain for many times for many different tutorial videos. But that's essentially all you need to do, right? You've installed WordPress and you'll then on your screen be able to click on admin panel and it will then let you just go ahead and edit your WordPress website. For me, though, my website's probably being redirected to somewhere else because I used it for a different video. But that's how you can install WordPress to your subdomain and it should all be set up. So I hope that was quick and helped you out. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got any questions.